cold. I'll use wheelchair guy. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Narcissists do not care. Some narcissists never demonstrate anything that comes near to the suggestion of caring. Other narcissists create a facade of caring, which is shown to the outside world. They may also demonstrate a veneer of caring to a person on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So during the golden period, when they're drawing in a victim, a middle-range narcissist or a greater narcissist may exhibit what appears to be caring conduct towards that individual. Mid-range narcissists love to show the outside world that they are caring because they believe that's what they are. Any opportunity to demonstrate that they care, that they have compassion, they will utilize. You can see this with those individuals that are narcissists that engage in the here's me doing a charitable act, but I've got to ensure that it's filmed and placed on social media so everybody can see and comment about it. Just fucking do it. You don't seek the praise. But of course, that's no good to a narcissist. An act of altruism which is not acknowledged in some way is entirely pointless. And as you know, there's no such thing as an altruistic narcissist. Even those narcissists that undertake charitable works, philanthropic works, they just do so in order to further their own names. Aims, rather. It enables them to assert control over a group of people. They draw fuel by way of people's praise and, ah, isn't that good of you? It also enables them to manage that facade by way of a residual benefit. Accordingly, the narcissist needs to ensure that there is maximum exposure for what they are doing, that the charitable act is reported on in a newspaper, that it is announced on some kind of foundation blog, that it is covered in a video, that it's plastered all over social media. Harry's wife is precisely the same as any other mid-range narcissist that utilizes this facade of being caring and helpful. Her narcissism directs her to utilize people for the purposes of getting to the prime aims. And therefore, anybody is up for being used. We've seen this where Harry's wife regularly piggybacks the projects of other people and seeks to partner with them, which is basically... You go and do all the hard work, and I'll swan in somewhere along the line and claim that I'm involved in supporting you. I might send a bit of money your way that has been donated by other people. I'm not going to use my own money, and therefore it'll make me look good. And of course, what's all of that doing? Subconsciously controlling people, drawing fuel, and gaining the residual benefit of facade management. She thinks that she cares. She doesn't. We know this. Because as a narcissist, she has no emotional empathy, which means she can't care. She's not programmed to care. She is prevented from caring. She can carry out a caring act. She, for instance, could help up an old lady who's fallen over. She could guide Gloria Steinem into a car. She could give somebody a hug if they're upset. But it's not actually being done to support that person or make them feel better, that just happens to be the collateral consequence. The driver of such a caring act, or apparently caring act, is to enable her to control that person and others who are watching, to draw fuel by way of people's responses to what she is doing, and to manage that facade. It is not done of itself. It is done for other reasons which are linked to her needs. There are those, of course, that fall for it, that think that her behaviour is genuinely caring and compassionate because they don't understand that she is a narcissist. But it follows. The evidence demonstrates that she is one. It therefore follows that she has no emotional empathy and therefore cannot care. No narcissist cares. It is mutually exclusive. What we can do is give the appearance of of caring. And in the short piece of footage that I'm going to show to you in a moment, we have an excellent example 
that enables you to see how Harry's wife simply does use people and doesn't care, and how her narcissism doesn't get it right once again. Because this takes place in public, but it demonstrates what's really going on underneath. Namely, there is no emotional empathy. Let's have a look at the footage. Okay, so it's taken from the recent Invictus Games, which are now known as the Harry's Wife Games, and we see a young man who is wheelchair-bound. Harry's wife walks alongside him, positions herself behind him, stoops down to enable her to have a photograph taken with him to make it look like she's a nice person. Look at me. I'm giving time to the poor, unfortunate man in the wheelchair Perhaps it's a carer who's taken the photograph of them together for posterity. And therefore, her onlookers think, oh, look, there's the Duchess of Sussex being kind, having a photo taken. Isn't she good? She's taken the time to stop and have her photo taken with the gentleman who's in the wheelchair. What a lovely person she is. Thus, facade managed, fuel received from people observing her, and she feels like she's a good person. But did you notice she didn't bother interacting with the man? She didn't look him in the eye, she didn't say hello to him, she didn't touch him, she didn't try and engage with him, she just walked behind him, had the photo taken, and then walked off. Why? Because she's got no emotional empathy. She wasn't interested in him, she wasn't interested in how he felt. She was just interested in the opportunity that it presented for her to enable her to assert control over the onlookers, draw fuel from their responses and manage her own facade. It's all about her. And the man in the wheelchair is just there to be used. Her narcissism glitched again because it failed to cause her to have some form of engagement with the man. Instead, the narcissism simply thought, the most direct route available to us here is get the photo taken and move on. We don't want to talk to him. We don't care about him. We're not interested in him. Nothing to be served in that. Just get the photo and get out of there. But then witness what happens thereafter. When somebody else comes along who isn't in a wheelchair, she actually engages with them. Again, she only does so for the purpose of asserting control over them and the onlookers, again to draw fuel from them, and again to manage the facade. But it shows the coldness of Harry's wife, the complete absence of emotional empathy, and on this occasion, the failure of her cognitive empathy to even show an ounce of engagement for the man in the wheelchair, but she will do so for somebody who is not in a wheelchair. That's because her narcissism recognises she's going to get more of a response from them than she did from the man in the wheelchair. And thus, her narcissism thinks, engage with them, there's more to be obtained. Again, it's just about using people. Using the young girl because she can respond and provide fuel, whereas it would appear that the man in the wheelchair is less likely to do so. Thus, we'll just ignore him and have a photo taken and then move on. An excellent example, in a short clip, of the coldness and absence of emotional empathy of Harry's wife. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for watching.